the Republican machine just got too arrogant and corrupt. And people resented it and didn't like it. And suddenly you had new politicians coming on who, who brought a new voice to the people. And uh, Roosevelt had come in much earlier, but he made it acceptable to be a Democrat. During the 40s, the voters in Philadelphia, and certainly South Philadelphia, uh, were voting New Deal, Democratic Party, and national elections, and voting Republican and local in the local elections. And there was a very good reason for it. It was dangerous to be a Democrat. Yeah, you know, and there were all kinds of things that occurred at the voting booth where people knew how people voted. They used to have mirrors in there. You could see in and how people were pulling. And, every, and even if you couldn't, people thought you could. So basically, they were concerned if they voted Democrat, their garbage wouldn't be collected. They wouldn't be able to get the services that people get. And so they felt they were going to play it safe. It didn't matter who the Democrats were anyway locally. Nobody really knew who they were. And so they voted Republican locally. Now, there were some areas that, didn't, that voted, you know, Democrat locally, but the overwhelming majority, nationally Democrat, local Republican.